As thousands of dock workers strike for more money and less automation, the impact of the strike could soon be felt right here in southeast Michigan. You came here to Costco. Tell me why. Stock up on a few items. We're uh, taking care of our mother. Just want to make sure we have everything that we need, mostly paper goods. Industry professionals say the ports impacted by the strike handle roughly half of the country's ship cargo. If it goes on for a while, the impact could be quite substantial. You know, I've seen estimates of anywhere from 500 million up to any up to five billion dollars uh, a day in damages. And Michigan's auto industry could get hit hard. A lot of the parts and uh, even automobiles actually are both shipped in and out of some of these ports on the East Coast. Some local dealerships are still unclear what the impact might be. Because most of our cars are really made here. I mean, it might affect EVs because those are built overseas, but uh, I don't know. I'm hopeful that they'll get it, you know, solved quickly. The food industry could also get hit hard. I work for a gourmet import company and all our stuff relies on stuff coming in. Consumers also fear higher prices when buying perishable food items. They could perish if they sit on the either the docks or on the ships for too long. Then uh, as a result of that, that could drive up the prices for some of these goods uh, in the short running. And as this strike plays out, President Biden says he will not force these workers back to work. But some business owners say they don't agree with this move. They had the Taft-Hartley Act. He could invoke that and cause the workers to work while they're working through the strike. For now, many are just hoping this strike does not impact the holiday season. If this goes on for too long, that pressure is going to mount for the president to step in and do something because he can't just kind of sit by and watch the whole economy fall apart as a result of this. And rural oak, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.